the final dramas of the FIA World Endurance Championship for 2015 played out in the desert in Bahrain, Sakir and the Bahrain International Circuit. And from the moment the lights went out, we were already seeing what the whole six hours were going to have in store for us with Marcel Fesler trying a cheeky move down the inside, got into second for a moment, but Romain Dumas making sure he did what teammates should do and protect the championship leading car. It was a untidy start in LMP2 that saw Tom Dillman in the Alpine get pushed down from pole to fourth position. Audi's not quite having the pace of Porsche at the start, at least not the number seven car, which really needed to win this one to keep the pressure on for the drivers' championship. So through went the number eight and immediately closed in on Dumas and made the pass for second position. Then it was a question of getting up the road and trying to catch Timo Bernard. It's Ferrari versus Porsche in the GT Manufacturers Championship stakes. And from almost the very start, as soon as the Porsche went through, they held the upper hand. Then drama for the championship leading 17. Down to third position with a throttle problem. Eight and a half minutes lost in the pits. Four laps down on the leaders. The Audis imperious in the lead till the number eight car had an issue with the left front brake disc that put that car in the pits for 15 minutes. Various full course yellows for mainly damage to the circuit or debris. Bullard's been replaced. Drivers and teams making quick decisions to make full course yellow pit stops. Audi managed to hold on to the lead by doing that with the seven car, but a slight fumble on the restart saw the 18 Porsche go back through. That was not the end of the story, though, as Audi found some pace that we haven't really seen since Silverstone and Spa and battled with the Stuttgart firm right the way through the first half of the race. Again, small mistakes had big consequences. And when the 18 car got through into the lead, Neil Yarny made the best of it and pulled away. The Moran number 43, Morgan, went around after a problem with their rear brakes. That was another full course yellow. This time that played into the hands of Porsche. They needed a pit stop. Audi had to follow them in. And then it was going to be a battle to the end of the race. In LMP2, G-Drive 26 and KCMG 47 have been the main protagonists all season. It was no different here in Bahrain at the final race of the season as the lead changed time and time again and came down to a sprint to the finish between Sam Bird and Nick Tandy, the two pro drivers. But there was more drama in store at the front of the field as Mark Webber had a recurrence of the throttle problem and then lost the front hybrid. It was going to be a very tense last hour of the race as the engine cut out not once but twice on the championship leading car. In LM GTE Am, it was a return to form for Aston Martin that saw their 98 car win in category in pro. It was Fred McAvicki who brought home the 92 Porsche, a win for them and the Manufacturers' Championship for Porsche with teammate in the 91, Richard Leeds, taking the Drivers' Championship. A win at the head of the field was a brilliant end to the season for G-Drive, who take LMP2. And at the head of the field, it was the 18 Porsche that won, but fifth place for the 17 was enough to ensure the Porsche added the Drivers' World Championship to the Manufacturers World Championship that they won earlier on in the season. Mark Webber never more delighted to come home fifth in his racing career.